everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jenny and happy Thursday to you there's Joe today I have a large Dollar Tree haul to share with you everything I picked up is brand new I'm also going to be including a couple of clips at the end um, along with some info on some stuff so uh, yeah let's go ahead and dive in and let me show you what I purchased so I'm going to start off with this hand soap now, when I seen the company's name, which is called Personal Care, I knew right there it was going to be a good product because the shave gel that I've been hyping about is by the same company, Personal Care, and I love this shave cream. It compares to the Gillette. It smells amazing, and for only a dollar, yeah. So that's why when I seen this hand soap, I'm like, yes. This is going to be good. So I bought three different ones. Those are the three that they had. So this is olive leaf extract, hand soap with olive oil. And this is blood orange, 12 ounce. And these do smell amazing. The other one I picked up is um, olive grove. So there's that one. That one smells good. And then the last one is sea salt lime with olive oil. So yes, these were all over with, um, these were over by the regular, all the other hand soap in the store. So yes, those smell really good. I've only tried one of them and they lather up really good. So I like that. Um, I thought I would give this a try. Actually, my husband will give it a try. This is by Extra Care, um, um, ex, uh, Eczema Care, Eczema, I'm sorry. <laughs> eczema care moisturizing cream it relieves dry itchy irritated skin steroid free and fragrance free it is a three ounce bottle now he has eczema on his side of his finger and in between one of his fingers and when he has an outbreak he has non-stop itching now i've been buying on this other cream at the dollar tree that he likes really well i think it was like coconut oil or coconut something it's in a little jar and it has a brown lid he has um, a couple of those by the bedside so i thought this would be something that maybe if he likes it he can just keep it in his car or at his office so he doesn't have to have that you know big bulky jar so we'll try to um i don't know if i smell it or not yeah, it smells like lotion there's no perfumey smell or anything so if you have tried this comment down below and let me know what you think okay moving on um i found some new bobby pins this is by salon quality you get 72 of them I don't know what it is with bobby pins and ponytail holders, but they are constantly coming up missing in this house. Um, although you do find them in the shower, you find them in the sink, you find them on the rug, you find them in the couch, you find them everywhere, but where they're supposed to be, on the head. So we're always buying um, bobby pins and that, so I figured for a buck we'll give them a try. Okay, some new flower sacks at the Dollar Tree. Now, I believe there was six different ones. I only picked up three. Um, so the first one is Honey, I'm Home. How cute is that with the honey pot and drips of honey everywhere? And these are 15 inch by 25 inch. They do wash up really well. If you put them in the dryer, be sure you take them out right away. Otherwise, they're going to be really wrinkly and you might have to iron them. I don't like ironing. And then the other one is Oh Snap. With pea pods how cute and then the last one is this one which is my favorite I love you to the fridge and back look how cute that is so so cute these will be perfect if you're making up um, gift basket gift baskets for maybe a wedding or a bridal shower or something along that line roll some of these up like and put them in a little basket or something and put like um, hand sew and all that so i think that and it's some maybe hand cream that would be a cute idea for a gift maybe or even for christmas um since that's pretty much right around the corner it feels like um another hand towel that i picked up is the black and white checkered blessed now these are um 100 polyester but i love how they've been making these different they don't snag on your skin so i just think these are really really cute so i went ahead and picked up 
one of those and then I picked up a set of the pot holders you get two of them I did not buy the oven mitt because I never use oven mitts so it'd be pointless to have that I like these on my husband these are his favorite favorite things from the Dollar Tree he loves their um, pot holders okay moving on to some Halloween decor I don't really get into Halloween. I never have, even when I was a kid. I don't really decorate a lot in my home. I might decorate that table right there and then this coffee table right there. Um, maybe a little bit on my TV stand, but other than that, I really don't decorate. But I thought this was really cool, different, and it's made very well. It is heavy. You can put a tea lot in there. You can put maybe a fake spider or a little pumpkin on there. And if you don't like the color, you can always spray paint it. But I just think that is really, really cool. And it's just, oh, it's, oh, I love it. So yes, I did pick up that. Another item, they had three different colors. They had like a real deep purple black almost. And they also had a green in this orange. It has twine wrapped around it with a skeleton charm. Now you can always take the charm off. You can use it on something else if you don't like the color. Spray paint it, put some flowers in it. Put some of the fake cobwebs, cobweb stuff in there and shove some spiders down in there just to make it, you know, extra ooey gooey. I, I, I. Um, they had a few different light up little wood signs. I picked up this green ghost. I think he was just adorable. So I went ahead and picked up that one. And then the last Halloween decor that probably most likely I will buy um, for this year is this. I think it looks kind of rustic. It's not real bright. Look, not a lot of glitter. I'm not a glitter person. So this just says trick or treat. So cute. You can have it setting up or you can hang it right there. And like what I always say, if you do not plan on hanging your stuff, go ahead and take these off and you, you can you can use them on something else that you want to hang that maybe they did not come with the teeth because these are actually pretty good. You just need an itty bitty screwdriver to get them out. Okay. They have some new tote bags. Oh, gosh, how many did they have in that video that I did? Six or eight of them. Um, the only one I picked up is the Disney Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey Mouse, and I love these older-fashioned ones. And when I seen the way they have these tags now, I'm like, yes, yes, no more staples. I hate when they use staples on these. No matter how careful you are getting those staples out, they always leave a pretty good size hole and they tear over time. So now they are using the plastic little tag things like you would find on clothes and that. So yeah, and these, these I mean, work really, really well. And they're pretty sturdy too. So I like, I really like using those. Two more items. They had five different ones of these. These are animal nose masks, ages three and up. Um, they had like a shark, two different dinosaurs, and this bird beak. And I'm trying to think the other one that they had. So I am going to rip this apart. Oh, wow. Those are, was not prepared. Oh, it goes around your ears. Wow, I thought this was going to be thick. No, look at that. Look how flimsy that is. That is amazing. Okay, so we got to get the nostrils up front. Oh my gosh. Ew, smell. Oh, it's going over my mouth. I'm getting lipstick. I if I'm going into surgery. Can you imagine a doctor coming in to do surgery on you and he's wearing this? You'd be like, oh, ah, no, no. So look. <laughs> really cool I mean you can breathe too and it goes under your chin hey how you doing huh? look at that that is really cool that's really cool I should go up and wake up my son the first day of school and say get up buddy and be like Ugh. some more those are really cool i'm having way too much fun with the rubber mask that's scary okay and the last item i picked up are these kids flushable wipes easy to use alcohol free six inch by four inch but i never do i don't flush these i don't know why although they say they're flushable but mm, i don't 
but I went ahead and picked these up for my two youngest. I'm going to put it in their bathroom. Um, we have some in our bathroom in the downstairs bathroom, but they're like adult size. And I really don't think since they're butt small, they don't, they, they don't need the big wipes. These are smaller. Or you can keep these in the car. So if you're traveling and your kid or your, even yourself has to go poo poo, you have these. A little too much info. What you think? Yeah. Okay. So that is everything that I picked up at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local Dollar Trees. As you know, today is Sunday. I will be having my son draw a lucky winner. If you ever want to be entered in any of my giveaways, all you have to do is send any piece of mail. You can do a postcard, a letter, a picture, um, even just an index card with your name. That gets you entered in all of my giveaways. Um, another thing, uh, tomorrow we take Ruby back to Indianapolis to the VCA vet for more scans. It's been six months since she's been there and we're going to see, pray to God, that her tumors did not come back. If you're not familiar with what's been going on with Ruby, she was diagnosed with two different cancers last year. She had a sarcoma tumor on her front leg, um, right by her chest, and then she had a mast cell tumor on her hind leg. So if you see those weird markings on her, that is because she had severe, intense radiation treatments last year. So we were taking her every three months. Um, and then after we took her, did that for almost a year, then we can go to every six months. So that's why it's been six months since she's been back. Now, if you are around um, Indianapolis um, or Fishers, Indiana, that's where this um, vet is. I'm going to put their address right here for you. Her appointment is at noon tomorrow. So if you would like to come to the vet, it's the VCA Advanced Veterinary Care Center. Um, I would be happy and thrilled to meet um, some of you. I know Annette's going to be there. I don't know if Nikki will be there or not, but I have met um, a few of my subscribers there. You can meet me. Uh, my husband will be with me. Ava and Alex might be with me. And of course, Ruby. So you're more than welcome to come and say hi. I would love to get to see you and meet you. Um, another thing I wanted to add here at the end, I went to Costco on Saturday and I found this amazing item on clearance for only a dollar ninety seven. So I'm gonna add that clip right down or right after this before I do the drawing so you can see what I found for only a dollar ninety seven. Just because it's a, a warehouse with big expensive stuff, not always expensive you can still find Clarence there. And another thing, I've been listening to a lot of music lately and I came across the song, it's like very old school, like I think back in the early 50s or 60s, but I just think it fits so well into my videos. And for you that are going through some hard times, um, I'm gonna list it right here. Um, it is by Nate King Cole and the song is called Smile. Oh, love it. So go ahead and try to, you know, if you want, go ahead and um, Google that video or the song with the lyrics. And just by listening to it, it just, oh, I love it. I have goosebumps already. Oh, just love it. So that is going to be the end of my video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If so, I would love a thumbs up. Be sure you click on to that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I would really love to have you as a subby friend. I thank you all for stopping by and spending the time with me today. So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Bye. So here is a grooming kit, which is three brushes by the brand Kong for only a dollar 97 are you kidding me this is a huge steal okay i have alex here he's going to be drawing one lucky winner and today we're going to be giving away the time garden week at a glance coloring diary um, this retailed for $14.99 in the back you can put notes there's name and address and then then you have the month and you can do the days and color different pictures on each week. So this is an amazing book and also has a band that goes around it. So Alex, you know the drill. Let me go ahead and give this 
a stirrup. Winner has 48 hours to contact me to claim your price to verify your address, and then I can get that out to you. So, Alex, go ahead. What? Sassy. Oh, that's all right. It won't hurt you. It will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. <laughs> so, the winner is Randy Brewster. Randy, congratulations. You are the winner for this diary. So once again, as always, we thank you for all your love, support, and the lovely smiley mail. So we hope you have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Bye.